what's up guys so today i'm going to be showing you guys my august newsletter so i tried filming like how i actually did it like from scratch like from a white sheet of paper but that wasn't coming out right i was having a lot of difficulties so i just decided to show you what i have in my newsletter in case you guys don't know what to include in yours so it's up here in this corner over here and I also wanted to show you guys that I use Pages. So Pages is where I do all of my editing and how I make my documents. And this is my newsletter for the month of August. So we're going to open it up and it's this one right here. So for the month of August, obviously it's like back to school month and that's why I have a lot of pencils, apples, colorful colors because when I think of back to school, I think of like a lot of color. So that's why I have like the colorful backpack. The word August is colorful as well. And I normally do a vertical newsletter, but this month I wanted to do a horizontal and have August going down the side instead of across the top. So this is my August newsletter and we're gonna go ahead and start talking about what is in my newsletter. If you guys want to see all of my other newsletters, I have a YouTube video where I talk to you about what I include in my newsletters. And then towards the end of the video, I have a slideshow of every single one of the newsletters that I've ever made. And you can pause it so you can read everything and then go to the next one. So I believe I have the months October of 2018 all the way until July. So this is August. So if you guys want to check out my other newsletters, you guys can as well. So now we're going to go into what I have in my newsletter. So towards the top, I always keep my birth dates, my closing, and my important dates. The first important date is August 5th to the 9th, and that's Spirit Week. So I like to include that in my important date because it is important and I don't want my parents to forget. Then I have another important date, and it's August 12th, and it's the first day of school in our county. So... I put that there just in case anybody has a kid that's in this county and they want to make sure that they know the first day of school. Um, my son starts school on that day as well. I decided to keep that up there. And then the only birthday we have is the one right there. So Coelho is actually not the name of the child. I just put their last name just for the sake of the video so that I don't give out like full names, but it's his sixth birthday. So under that, I have what we're doing for Spirit Week. So I have Monday's Pajama Day, Tuesday is Wacky Tacky Day, also known as Mitch Matched Day. On Wednesday, we wear purple. Thursday, we have Crazy Hair. And Friday, we have Tie-Dye Day. The reason why I chose Wear Purple Day for Wednesday is because for our curriculum, if you look right under it, the color for the month is purple. So the letter is G, the number is six, the color is purple, and the shape is a parallelogram. You guys have to hear my two-year-old say parallelogram. It is the cutest freaking thing. So I just have my curriculum down here. I normally only repeat the same thing for two weeks, but I just decided to drag it out another week. Up here, I just gave them a little bit of information and it says, parents, we are doing spirit week again. I'm so excited. I know that the kids are going to have fun seeing their friends in cool different attire. I always take group photos for the kids during spirit week. So I wanted to ask for you to please have your kids to me by 9.30 a.m. I will not wait for anyone who is running late because it is essential that I stay on schedule for my babies to have a productive day. So I like to include things like that because I don't want parents like, oh, hey, I'm running late. I'll be there by 10. Oh, hey, I'm running late. Um, This one won't be here today. Like, I'm not going to wait. I have to get things done. I'm going to snap their picture and we're going to continue on with our day. So I have a private Facebook group with only my parents that I accept in that group. Only current parents, I should say. And I always post pictures of the kids on that group. So they're gonna see the group photos posted to the group that day, like the day of. And I'm not waiting for anybody. I can't, like, I just can't. Then under that, I put, I want to make some more shirts for the kiddos. I will be purchasing a tie-dye kit to make shirts for the kids to wear on Friday of Spirit Week. So that's tie-dye day. I will need another plain white t-shirt, just like the one we did on the 4th of July so i can make them a cute shirt i will need the shirts by me no later than august 2nd so um for the 4th of july i made them shirts if you guys watched my vlog on the 4th of july like that I have on my channel you'll see the shirts that i made the kids i'll also include a picture of my son wearing his in this video so you guys can check it out and you guys can see like how it came out but i wanted to make them tie-dye shirts me and my husband the other day were in the store i think it was hobby lobby and we saw a tie-dye kit and we wanted to get it so i decided to just make everybody a tie-dye shirt and then i included a little picture of a tie-dye shirt then towards the bottom it just says i will not be in the house for drop-offs on 
August 12th. It is blank first day of school and i want to be the one to take him to his first day of school i will be home shortly after 9 30 just a heads up in case you don't see me at drop off so i decided to include that in the video because i like to communicate with my parents i don't like parents to not know what's going on because i'm in the house every single day for pickup so if i'm not going to be there i like to let them know and we can just so that they're on the same page as me and they don't have any surprises or whatever so i like to keep all of my information very black and white with the parents i don't have any gray areas because that's when things start to get rocky so open communication and as you guys can see they know about every single thing that is going on in the month of august so that basically completes what is in my august newsletter i hope that it was helpful for you guys if you guys have any questions or constructive criticism just go ahead and leave it down below so i can respond to your comments and see if there's anything that i can improve in my newsletter if you guys make newsletters in your in-home daycares leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys include in there and if there's something that you think that i should start to include in my newsletters so that completes today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and i will see you all in my next video